Uh-oh. Uh Those monsters are just waiting for us. I bet if I could sneak up behind one, I could give him a good whack with my candy pail. Sneaking. We will get there in just a second, and then we're going to beat him up in the back of the book. Uh, yeah, that'll teach you. You got bop by my bag. Yeah, take that, scoundrel. Oh, there's three of them. God, that's not good. Oh, okay. That's definitely worthwhile then. Okay. That's good. That's good. What do I want to do? I guess I want to hit you the most because you're the healer jerk. You're going to ruin everyone's day. And I probably do want to put an egg on your face. Can I egg everyone's face? That'd be best. That would be horribly overpowered. Never mind. <laughs> no one would allow that to happen. Oh god, they're buffing themselves. And I'm getting set on fire. I'm someone holding fire and I'm getting set on fire. How unlikely. But so annoying nonetheless. Do I do enough damage for this? Please? Hey! Very good, very good, very good. Alright, I'm gonna... I hope I'm selecting the one that got buffed because... Otherwise I'm gonna be really mad. <laughs> Come on, buff yourself. Do it. You know you want to. Ah, stop setting the same person on fire. Mr. Barai. I do enjoy that quite vigorously. All right. Uh, I'm going to sing the anthem before I... Do I want to do that? Actually, I don't think I do. No, I don't think I want to do that, actually. I think I should survive. If I stun that guy and then use my attack on... What? I am a Dumbo. I'm too. <laughs> Alright, ever dead because I forget who does attacks. But my counter attack destroys everyone, so it's like whatever, right? Everett, you're totally still alive. Just just cheer a little bit after winning. Yeah, that looks like a cheer to me. We got a chocolate carrot and some lollipops. <laughs> yep, went perfect according to plan. Well, at least we now know about the whole sneaking thing. Did it turn around? Or. I mean, Everett's a bit shaky. I mean, he did just die, I suppose, so that probably has something to do with it. Alright, we're being sneaky, you guys. Sneaky sneak. No one can see us. Sneaky snooky. Beaky pooky pooky poo. Boom! That is some hardcore sneaking action going on right there. No one saw it coming. Everyone died. And I lived. And here we are. Another battle between healers and myself. Another good hit given on the first try. You gonna get bopped in the face. I wonder if it's actually better. Like it might actually deal more damage if I just attack him now. Compared to stunning him. Because stunning does like 10 damage. And I think he only heals for like... Tw I don't know what he heals for. I'm just gonna do this. That might have actually been worse, but oh well, it's too late now. I should press buttons. <laughs> Shouldn't suddenly let go of the controller while doing this. Okay, never mind. That's definitely worse. <laughs> that is definitely worse. Uh, oh well, too late for that now. Thought he did more damage than he actually did. Everything's ruined. I don't know what to do with my life. But whatever, he's dead now, I suppose. It all ended up pretty okay. I do. I would prefer everyone attack Ren though. Because their like counter attacks are bees knees. That's exactly what they are. Press X now, and everyone's attacking her now, so that's good. Well, if you're all gonna attack her now, start missile barrage. Who needs sentences when you can shoot missiles at people? That's right. Everyone's on fire. I need to use this attack as much as possible because it's just great. That's the most freedom I've ever seen in one picture. Right there. Yeah, keep attacking her. That's good. Keep attacking that giant robot of death. And that giant robot will destroy all of you. With ease. That was the A button. That was not X. Oh well. Um, yeah, just to just kill the thing. I could stun one, I guess, but it wouldn't really add much. Three down. I'm going to kill this guy with eggs. Why not? That's right. That was a weird looking animation when you do that, apparently. Oh, man. That was just how eggs work. Eggs? Very bizarre. Very strange. 
I wonder if you could accidentally press the running buttons and then just leave the battle like one turn before you win. That would not be good because... Oh, we got jammy jams. But I feel like that could actually be a real problem. Leave some for the rest of us. No, I'm going to destroy everyone. That is the plan. We are sticking to it. When you've got a plan... Do these guys see me at all? Oh, yeah. So if you just run towards them, you don't do the extra hit. You do actually have to do the sneaky sneaks. That's fair enough. That's a weird battle system, though. Because I wasn't super... Like, I was close to them, but whatever. This battle looks exactly the same as some of the previous ones. So I'm gonna suddenly win in one turn. Wow. So probably the most interesting thing that happened there was that the egg on the face attack didn't work once. So I guess it's not a 100% chance, but hey. Come to me quickly, I'm a scarecrow. Time is of the essence. Psst. Children of the graveyard. Come to me. Quickly. Time is... Okay. Oh. Yeah, I can feel that. Hey, you're talking, Scarecrow. Aren't you afraid? I forgot your voice already. I, I don't know. Not really. You should be. You're chasing a very powerful, very dangerous witch. Can you help us fight her? Uh, no. But I can give you this. We got a perfect fast, fast, fast. And a little something to help you get started. We got the pippin all right, cool. The scarecrow gave us a pumpkin hint thing. Who are you? Who are you? A friend. My voices are just everywhere today. They are not solid. Oh well, it's fine. What's that? I don't know. Maybe you hit it. Yeah, that's a pretty good idea. When in doubt, just punch it. Bop it. Just hurt it. Cause some pain. Oh, hey, there's another page. Wait, did we miss one then? The Autumn Haven Mall. I guess we'll get there at some point, maybe. I don't know. It's uh, pretty inevitable, I suppose. Sure. Why not? Hello. Boom. Open up. Doesn't look like that's going to work. Eh, I guess not. I suppose some mysteries are beyond even the power of candy. Indeed they do. Can I just, like go into them anyway. I would really enjoy just going inside those. Maybe, maybe I can just buy my way in. I don't know. I will remember you until the end of time. Ooh, hey, it's people. I know we're on schedule, Dorsilla, but it's just that Grubbins are so lazy. Especially that one. I caught him sleeping under the bus. Just in time to get his candy loaded into the next five minutes, Bojan, and take it to the Autumn Heaven Mall. Mixel's there, and he says he found the candy mother load. Don't be late, or I'll take the staff and make you even more ugly than you are right now. <laughs> well, that was unnecessarily personal. All right, listen up, Bojo. You can't have all the candy. We won't stop you. Uh, we just want that one, the really big one over there. Are you nuts? That's a prize piece. But it's going really love eating that one. It looks super cute. What? Ren, if they eat me, I'm totally telling. I guess his voice is texting now. No one's eating anyone except this middle management weasel is about to eat his megaphone. Normally, I like to think of myself as a consensus builder, but my job is on the line here, so I think I'm going to have to show you my mean side. Everyone's voice is just constantly changing. Don't mind that, though. We're fighting a boss, it seems. We're fighting Bojan. And Bojan is not looking to... Oh, God, he gets an animation of his own. We are so going to die. For the record, I'm a former, not a middle manager. He's so huge! His megaphone has a separate health bar. Should I attack the megaphone? It seems like that would be a good idea for some reason. Match the timing. Boom! It's a lower level, so that's probably good. Can I stun the megaphone? Seems unlikely. It doesn't seem that that is how things work. Mandatory team building exercise! Ah, oh, God. I really want to shut this guy up. Press A now. Alright. That's actually a problem. I don't appreciate that. I don't like that. And I am really angry. And I didn't 
Ch switch targets. So I guess we're gonna put some egg on that shaman's face. I think that's probably better use of my time than not doing that. Oh, uh, I need to heal. I need to play the anthem of my people. Stunned. What? Did I stun the megaphone? Well, okay. Or maybe it was just referring to the shaman. It looked really weird with that camera, but sure. Missile barrage. Well, the shaman's gone. Anthem time. Play that beautiful song that brings forth patriotism and America. The world is saved once more. Man, stop building your teams. If we took out that megaphone, he'd be on his own. Man, that's such a good idea. Why didn't I think of that? Maybe I should have been attacking the megaphone this entire time. Oh, hey, that's exactly what I was doing. That was company property. Oh, uh, no, don't do that, dude. I don't think I've ever seen a shaman actually attack. I've only seen them heal. But that's fine, I suppose. I don't really like attacking that much. Healing is a mild inconvenience, but it's not as inconvenient. Plus, I can stun them, which is actually really nice. Try and get me now. I don't even know who you attack because the camera didn't move that time. <laughs> Missile barrage! I think we got this in the bag. I don't see him winning this, honestly. I'm just gonna attack him, I think. I think I'll heal if he attacks Everett again next turn, but other than that, I think I should be fine. I think I probably could just take him down now. I don't think I even need to heal Everett. Yeah, we got this. We got this. Fire! Alright, we took down the dude, and we got a stamp in the thing. Fee fifo fudge. Downsize. A while I have to pick today to get smoking. Alright, the bus. The bus is gone. After that bus! Ren really needs to have a better voice. Maybe I'll, next time I'll have a different voice for Ren. That's easier to do. Autumn Haven. Place where dreams come true. Our landed on my dice. Quick, let's get inside before they see us in the rear view mirror. Ah, but It had such potential, but it all went wrong. Where are we? Autumn Haven Mall, I think. You sure this is more? It looks more like a dungeon for which I am totally prepared for. <laughs> this part of the mall must still be under construction. I look a dungeon map. <laughs> Do you see what I see? Motherload Candy Emporium? Bingo. That's. No, that's where they had it. Then quick to the candy store. <laughs> we will go there with great prejudice. I want to go to that super dark and spooky hallway, but my instincts to, to say not with bright light. Uh, my instinct is to follow your instincts on this one. I guess I didn't tell you I have a real phobia of the dark. Also, there's like eyes over there. It's kind of spooky booky. Alright, fine. We're going to the light. Whatever. Let's not go into the darkness where only bad things happen. Uh... Right, need a helmet to go through the heart to see thingy bangers. And we made it through. And we're going back to the other outfit because it's a lot quicker to move with. Yeah. Alright, making my way around. There's a policeman. Uh, hey, look, it's a candy store. And it's chock full of monsters. Careful, kids. You don't want to go near that place tonight. It's been taken over by teenagers. Sir, those are monsters? They sure are, especially between the ages of 14 and 20. I was going to check out the male costume party after my shift, but not with those scruffy hooligans running loose. Guess I brought this nifty space warrior costume pattern for nothing. Oh, can we have it? Sure, but take my advice. 
Stay on the dark side of them all, where it's safe. We got a space warrior costume. That sounds awesome. I want to be a space warrior. Let's find some teenagers to beat up with a robot power. Oh, jeez. You're not seeing me. I am invisible. I am one with the sneaky. And whoever looks the other way will get downsized. Candy Graham. He looks big. He looks big and dangerous. Like a real problem type person. We're gonna take- Oh my god, he's got spikes for hands. That is actually really terrifying. Uh, a, a trobog bruiser. Alright. Um... I, I guess I'll attack that one because he's really big and got spikes for hands. That's a pretty reasonable reason to do that, I imagine. I'm gonna throw eggs on your face and hope it doesn't hurt me because I don't really want to get hurt by you that much. Stunned! Ay. Although, simultaneously, I'm kind of curious what his attacks are. So I might this turn just attack him a little bit more but then stun the other guy. And see what happens. And then if it turns out to be like the worst idea, I can just missile barrage. So it should be fine. I think. I hope. I believe. That's just a normal attack. <laughs> You're pretty much the same thing as a grubby guardsman. What's the point of you? Missile barrage. You're on fire. So you're gonna be dead in a second anyway, so I might as well just kabloom Be dead oh, that, was easy. that was just a sad, uh, it's, it just looked different. Well, that's fine. I suppose I was kind of hoping for a different type of enemy altogether, but there you go. You, oh, okay. I guess you're not attacking me. That's fine. Hello. Trigger tree. Oh, I wasn't expecting to it because of the construction. I don't have any candy, but I can show you these old snow boots I found when I was cleaning up my shop. Thanks. Alright, we got snow boots. What do we use those for? We use those for the Space Warrior outfit. Cool. I'm invisible. Sneaky, sneaking the devil. Ba -ba -da -da. You're going down, clown. Meow. And it is. Oh, he looks like he has a giant hammer. He does not have a giant hammer. He has just coals on his back. A drobog grenadier. Let's see what he's up to in his spare time of fighting the evil doers. The evil doers being us in this particular instance as we are invading their property. Which is not really their property, but they can throw grenades. I feel like this... Uh, actually, I need to check out that sticker I got. But I feel like this game would benefit if the combat was a bit more... Expansive. Like, if you'd get more attacks and stuff. Because... Like, don't get me wrong. This is alright. But... It, um... I'm not really noticing a difference between these enemies and the previous enemies that I fought, other than that they look different. Like, everything else is basically the same. And the animations that are in there are pretty great, but I, I wouldn't mind seeing some more. I wouldn't mind seeing more than just eggs. So, let's see. Uh, I got a sticker from being that one dude, and I never really looked at it. Scare! Chance to cause a single enemy to flee. I hate those attacks, but let's let's do it. Let's at least see what it's like before we just say it's horrible. Hello? Hi, this is a construction zone. Where's your safety equipment? Here, take your safety visor so you guys don't get hurt, okay? Thank you, sir. Safety first. I got a safety visor. Is that another part of the, the, uh, the spaceman? Yep. Space warrior. Can I get some more pieces, please? Z, z. I wake up. What? We're with the recycling committee. Do you have any bottles for us? Hey, knock yourself out, kid. Just keep the noise down, okay? People are working over here in the yard. Empty soda bottles. That should do it. We have all the items we need for the Space Warrior costume. Most excellent. Oh, yes. The most authentic Captain Starblazer costume he's ever seen. 
The level of detail on the fusion armor is first rate. Monster mashing time. What is this? The extra costumes are really cool, though. I'll definitely give them that. I guess this is a melee attack guy. Judging from the fact that he has a sword. And that's probably a shot. Yeah, medic. <laughs> Looks pretty much the same in terms of... Like, at least you can tell if it's a medic or not, so that's good. Meteor avalanche! That sounds awesome! Alright, we're attacking you because you're a medic. Well, that minigame's the same. <laughs> but the animation looks completely different, so everything's fine. All my all my complaints suddenly fixed by getting a new costume, I suppose. Yeah. Though I do, uh... I forgot about the scare thing. Is this just, like, a chance that you... No, the, cha the scare is actually just a different ability altogether. Alright, um... Alright, I'm gonna use scare on this guy. No effect. Yeah! <laughs> well, so much for that, I suppose. We tried, we failed, we move on. We're just gonna pretend it never happened. Please stop attacking me. Yeah, Scare is, like, that's, like, one of those abilities which I just never use in any RPG, because they just never really seem fun. Alright, Meteor Avalanche. I'm gonna use it against this guy in case it's just a one-person attack thing. Awesome. It mostly attacked the other guy, like the one I actually targeted it, but still pretty cool. Uh, oh god, I shouldn't have... I probably should have attacked the medic, actually, because now Everett's gonna die because everyone's gonna attack him because these guys are jerks. Oh, maybe he won't die. I pressed the wrong button. Alright, Everett's dead. Well, that's a problem. Uh, I guess we're just not gonna fail from this point on. Because otherwise, I'm pretty sure I am I might actually be screwed. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I failed this battle. Unless Monster Avalanche is really going to help me out in a second. I'm not sure. I, I'm pretty sure I'm going to die. But let's see if, my, if Meteor... Meteor Avalanche. This needs to deal like 400 damage. <laughs> 88. Oh, uh, God. Yep, this is a problem. All right, if Scare doesn't work, we're dead. <laughs> ah! We failed. We are destroyed. Yep, there we go. Defeated. So what happens now? Do we just, like, if you run, you get defeated. So if you... If we just, we can just do it again. All right. This ball makes me so cranky. Well, all right, um... At least now I know what Meteor thing does. I'm pretty sure this is just a worse costume of, than the one you actually start with, though. I mean, the animations are good, but just uh, the basic attack is just a basic attack. The thing's just the same. And it seems like the like multi-target thing doesn't hurt as much and doesn't set them on fire. So I guess it would be kind of decent for the other person, but I kind of like having heals. I kind of like that a lot. I kind of like that a lot. So, yeah. We're just gonna keep it like the like the previous outfit, I think. This just seems like a worse outfit to use right now. Maybe if we find like a third character or something. Given that the enemy sometimes has three people, it would be nice if I got three people every now and again, but right now, it seems bad. <laughs> Oh well. At least we got meteors coming out of the sky, so there is that. And we've got patriotism. America! And I think we should just be completely fine if we don't mess up the button prompts this time around. That really destroyed me the last time. I didn't expect to take that much more damage if you fail that, but apparently you do. Apparently you do, and apparently you get destroyed. All right, set this dude on fire, please. For someone who uses an attack that is entirely fire, there was not enough being set on fireness in that particular instance of happenstance. And I find that humiliating. You have brought failure to the family. I guess I probably should just keep stunning people. It seems like a better idea than not doing that. Mm. Seems like a safer way of doing it, at least, and I, I do like using the safe methods to win after all. But it doesn't really matter now, we basically won. 
Might as well do it the fast way. Because now, if I just mash the button, will I just insta-kill? Meh, yep. Not really insta, but whatever. We got some fish heads. Yeah. That's awesome. I love fish heads. All right. We're not using this outfit anymore because it's worse. So, yeah. At least we got a chance to see some new animations. So that's good, I suppose. Light up sort Oh. Right. It's for lighting up the place. That makes sense, actually. This is going to get me a promotion. Is it, though? Is it really? Are you getting get a good promotion for beating up some children? That's not very nice. I think I haven't actually seen these guys before, I don't think. Should I try Scare again? It's really... I kind of don't want to, but I kind of do at the same time. Ah. Hey! Awesome! Alright, so at least it worked on someone. And it got rid of the healer, so that was pretty much the best case scenario. Probably gonna get rid of it after this battle, but at least we got to see an instance of scaring, like scare working. Let's tempt faith. Alright, let's do it. I believe. No effect. Alright. <laughs> I guess it's just I guess it's just either like a small chance. Or maybe it's just uh certain enemies. I don't know. But it's nice that it at least worked once. It is nice that that happened. What was that? Oh, great, now they're both buffed. That's just perfect. Missile Barrage! Uh, no. Yeah, like, the Meteor thing, it does seem to do more damage to a single target, but then less damage to the ones around it. Plus, fire. Fire's really good. Fire burns people. Burning's good. In this game, of course. Alright. Well, the rest of this battle seems to be pretty busy. I'm 52 damage. All right, you are just gonna go. 52, are you kidding me? That's just rude. Man, it's a good thing scare works. <laughs> that would have been really bad if they were attacking all the time. God. Man, praise the scary tactics, I suppose, but we're gonna get rid of it now because I, I don't trust it. It seems not good. Can I get this to both? No. All right. Uh, you keep that one. I'll try flying the wolf. I want to see how much it actually improves it. Plus, it's more reliable, I suppose, than uh, what's the thingy. All right. Uh, whoop. Light. Give me strength. No, I can't actually turn it off while I'm running through here. I pretty much let go of the button immediately after I reach the dark bit, but. It was not to be. I bet your space warriors saw it would go through the darkness like butter. Really dark butter. Yeah, I believe so. I believe that this is the way. Where are all these eyes coming from in the darkness when there's no eyes to be seen in the light? I don't know. Hello, police. I... Police, help. We need... Help. We need your help badly. I'm actually going to take a little break here because I've been playing for like a long time actually it is a pretty fun game and i want to see more of it but for now i'm gonna leave it there so i hope you guys enjoyed it so far and next time we play we're gonna take care of the other guys that run around and save a brother and probably give completely different voices because i'll probably have forgotten what everyone sounds like and i'm guessing the the, the person we're playing as will be texan and i'm guessing the, the other person will still just sound like shovel knight so yeah see you next time Bye-bye.